Why? Why is Gene's video the clearest out of? <laughs> and you and always, what, you what's going on? My quality. <laughs> I know, right? What is I going on? <laughs> what is this? I, I think it's the shirt. Now. I it's, think it's, it's the all shirt. The oh, don't don't get contract. me started, Gene. You picked the wrong shirt today, buddy. Yeah, I know. You're gonna make fun of my MT forty I, right? <laughs> uh, uh, Steven, thank you for the super chat. Best way to integrate a mini DSP HD subwoofer calibration using REW into Dirac Live calibration on an XM2. No DLB, no Dirac Live bass control on Emotivas yet, unfortunately. How did you know DLBC meant that? I was looking at that. I'm like, what does that even mean? Um, well, we, uh, what is it? I think Wednesday we're going to have uh, Jacob from Dirac, and he's. I asked him specifically to talk about Dirac live bass control, something I'm very interested in because yeah. it's, so, it's so crazy what something it's doing. Something I just got. Oh, you got it. Yeah. Tim's got it. He's got it. Um, <laughs> it's very interesting. I think we're going to do a deep dive into how that all works, but his question is, Best way to integrate a mini DSP HD subwoofer calibration and using REW in a Dirac live calibration. Hmm. I would have to say do your mini DSP stuff first, first. with the receiver completely default. Then do your Dirac and then cut off the base management if you can below your DSP threshold. Hmm. If that's possible, I don't know if you can't you do that in the yeah, yeah, with a curtain. I, yeah. I guess I'd have to know why you're using the mini DSP. I'm assuming because you want to, you probably have two or more subs, right? So he's yeah, probably using Emotiva those two. Has, the Emotiva has manual parametric EQ, so you don't need the mini DSP. It's got independent delay control for your dual subs. I would just get rid of that box and do everything in. I'm assuming you could use the PEQ and DRAC simultaneously oh. in. Emotiva. I don't know. I've, I haven't reviewed that one, but maybe he has. Maybe I was like, maybe he has four subs. So let us know um, what the use case is for the mini DSP HD. Maybe he's using it for. Maybe he has different types of subs, and he needs to add different delays to each one. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get into why Dirac Live Bass Control is so awesome. <laughs> 